so I mean, one way to look at our roadmap is kind of a pipeline of of information. So we started with uh, what Dimitri talked uh, mentioned already the the resume parser that that we built and, and we built in multiple languages and already in there. So that's automating a task. It's extracting information from the resume, populating a record, so so that the user doesn't have to do that manually. Uh, the next level is trying to deal to to deal with information at scale, uh, and trying to use to help the user with with the knowledge. So that's where semantic and matching comes in. Uh, now you have thousands of records. There's a lot of knowledge in there, and the, and the the recruiter doesn't necessarily have all that uh, all that knowledge. So the system can can help with that. And there, uh, you know, we started using skills very heavily so a lot of our work is is relying on skills and skill tax taxonomy and the semantics of skills uh, but we're doing that with in a machine driven approach uh, we're not engineering the knowledge of of, of the skills manually uh, that's a process that is not uh, sustainable and is not is not scalable we've learned that we uh, Again, taking uh, leveraging the uh, the information, the, the data that we have, we can create information out of this data. Learn using machine learning models. How do this? How do the skills relate to each other? How do skills relate to uh, job positions? Uh, and how do you infer skills from jobs? Jobs from skills? All of that. Uh, so that's the second level. Uh, I would say that's and or the second step in this in this pipeline is. Uh, leveraging the information at scale. Uh, and then beyond that, uh, things like predictive analytics, uh, things like intelligence and the platform itself. So agility and flexibility is one of the main, uh, the, the main properties of the Avature uh, platform. There are no two instances that are the same, even for users within the same, within the same instance. Uh, so one of the th one of the directions we want to go into is uh, how do we help the user optimize their usage of the workflows of putting together workflows and, uh, and this kind of you know techniques like reinforcement learning where you can try to um, model the the user as an agent inside an environment and then look at how they are interacting with the platform itself. Uh, and how you can how can help them guide um, guide guide them through through that. So that's another another frontier where we. Are.